Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, we will discuss full factorial design with single replicate. So, we are continuing with factorial design and you, you have seen that uh, in, in, in case of even two factors with n replicates. So, we, we require a b n this number of experimental runs. Now, it may so happen that there is resource constraint for example, maybe if you are using raw material maybe the batch is not sufficient enough to conduct n number of replications for a b experimental different settings. So, or you have time constraint or you have financial constraint. So, all those things the resource constraint will put things uh, differently and, and maybe you, you will go for a s n equal to 1 that is known as single replicate or it may so happen that you, uh, you, you, you do not have any other option other than going for single replicate because more than 1 is uh, not available, maybe somebody else has done uh, replication uh, this experiment or many things. So, ultimately what I mean to say here that there will be situations when you have to deal with full factorial experiments with single replicate. So, what will happen under such situation and what kind of analysis statistical analysis possible that is what will be discussed in this lecture. So, full factorial design with single replicate then we will show you a special test known as Taki test for interactions this is very important and then I will show you one example and we will ex explain uh, with example that what how you will you will analyze the experimental data that is full factorial experimental data with single replications. What I am assuming that you all know the and mu y i j is mu plus tau y plus beta j plus tau beta i j plus epsilon i j this is what is the that is what is the fixed effect model. And in last lecture we have estimated these parameters with a n replicates. So, also in last to last lecture what happened we have seen that ANOVA analysis analysis of variance and to find out the effect of all those parameters uh, all those uh, and, and, and then we have accepted or rejected the null hypothesis for related to factor A related to factor B related to their interactions. Here here when we have we do not have um, replications or we have only single replicate then the problem is the error variance will not be estimable. Tau beta i j that is the interaction and the ex ex experimental error cannot be separated. So, that means error uh, this this cannot be estimable because of this thing that error and these are together confounded kind of thing, thing it cannot be separated. There are no test on main effects unless the interaction effect become 0. So, if there is an uh, no interaction present then what happen we put this equal to 0 and tau beta i j when put equal to 0 the equation become like this. So, let me repeat this one full factorial design with two factors a and b y i j 
k we use that is mu plus tau i plus beta j plus tau beta i j plus epsilon i j k. Now, you k stands for replications if n equal to 1 we do not require this this term. So, our observation will be y j y i j will be mu plus tau y plus beta j plus tau beta i j plus epsilon i j. Okay. So, under such situation if we assume this full model what happened uh, because we have only n equal to a b number of observations this put restriction on estimation of sigma square which is basically m a c error uh, estimate value is m a c. Second is that this tau beta i j this one and and the error error component they will be inseparable. So, unless the interaction is 0, so you cannot go for this kind you, you have to go for more that means n, n equal to more than 1 that is what is the issue. So, that means when we can use if tau beta the interaction is 0 interaction is 0 then you can go for single replications under and if interaction is 0 then what will happen this y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus beta j plus epsilon i j. So, this will be our model i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b. So, when you do factorial experiments and you are dealing with single replication then please keep in mind that interaction effects will become 0 and that means you have to test whether first whether interaction effect is there or not. If you find the interaction effect is there then you cannot deal with this you have to go for more number of replications. So, if interaction effect is 0 then your model uh, will become simpler and you have to have a test of no interaction this test is known as Takis test T U K E Y S Takis test of non additivity or test of interaction. Here what happened what is our H 0 H 0 is the tau beta i j this equal to 0 and H 1 is tau beta i j not equal to 0 this is for all i j combination and this is for at least one i j combination. So, <coughs> Here in Taki's test what happened you know, test this Taki says that that this tau beta i j this can be thought of gamma a constant into tau i into beta j. Then you put in the equation original equation y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus beta j plus in plus gamma tau i beta j plus epsilon i j because this is what is equal to tau beta i j. Then you find out the error S S E S S E will be sum total i equal to j equal to 1 to b i equal to 1 to a then epsilon i j square which is nothing but sum of i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b y i j minus mu minus tau i minus beta j minus gamma tau i beta j this square. So, what do we want? We want to know the value gamma. So, if you do derivation with respect to gamma then what you will get you will get 2 sum total of i equal to 1 to sum total i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b 
then all those things will be there y i minus mu minus tau i minus beta j then what happened this minus gamma tau i beta j it will be there plus this one will give you another quantity called that uh, tau i beta j okay so this will give you plus into tau i beta j put this to zero and then find out gamma find out gamma now let us see because this derivation uh, will take little time so I, I i have given you the way you have to done you have to do it let us see this is the second slide here you see this become zero you multiply all those things so the first quantity will be tau y beta j y i j second one will be tau y beta j mu third one will be tau y beta j square tau y square beta j fourth one will be tau y beta j square fifth one will be gamma tau y square beta j square or tau y beta j whole square this will become zero now from this to this what happened this can be the second term we as there is no j tau y is not involved with j we can bring here mu we can bring to the left that means one i just give you one uh, one symptom for example the second term is minus i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b tau i beta j and mu so this term mu is independent of i j we can write minus mu sum of now tau i is independent of j so we can write tau i i equal to 1 to a then also we can write j equal to 1 to b beta j this can be written but you all know that tau i sum and sum of beta j they are 0 so this quantity becomes 0 in the same manner the sec third quantity this will become 0 fourth quantity will become 0 so we have only two quantity left this one and this one this cannot become 0 because y i j is in multiplied here. So, this minus this that means this minus this will be 0. So, what you are getting you are getting gamma you are getting gamma equal to sum total i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b tau i beta j y i j divided by sum of tau i square sum of beta j square i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b ok. So, I mean this derivative putting to 0 will give you a gamma value. Now, using this gamma value we will calculate S S n. What is this S S n? That is sum square non additivity n per non this is basically test of interaction. So, that means it is no the interaction is the tau beta i j is multiplicative with tau i and beta j that sense it is not uh, additive to that. So, S S n is this this we have seen because this is the interaction square sum of this. Now, tau beta i j we have considered at gamma into tau i into beta j. So, that square will be that means gamma square tau i is beta square this square this can be written like in this manner. And then gamma square value you put here this is the gamma square value you put here. Now, tau i square beta j square this value will be there. So, the lower portion tau i square beta j square this is square term. So, this and this cancel out. So, in the denominator 1 tau i sum of tau i square and into sum of beta j square this will remain and the numerator is the sum of this square that is i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b this square. So, what we will write this one the we know the estimated value of tau i we also know what will be the value of beta j. So, we know y i j it is already given. So, if you put all those values here that estimation part 
then instead of tau i you are writing y i dot bar minus y dot dot bar in case of beta j you are writing y dot j minus y dot this bar and y i j as it is you are writing. Then what you do you you manipulate you do algebraic manipulation and bottom hand side this is the estimate for tau i square this is the esti estimate for beta j square okay, that that you know. Okay. Now, what we have done we have compute a, we have uh, multiplied numerator by a, a square b square and denominator also by a square b square. Then when the a square b square gone in within the bracket where square is there then it is a b and this a b we keep here and the other two terms one is attached with b and another one is attached with a because we want to we know that s s a and s s b are nothing but this is your s s a and this one is s s b. So, a b s s a and s s b it is coming here like this. Now, here y i j this one now if we if we know that y j equal to 1 to b y i j is b y i dot bar similarly i equal to 1 to a y i j is a y dot j bar this is known to us. So, if you put here in the in in the new in the numerator so that mean y i j y i dot and y dot j uh, y dot j minus y i dot and this this quantity you will get ok. So, this quantity it is just basically the uh, all those summation kind of things and multiple and ok. So, you get from here to here and then with the with the a b and other uh, y dot j this one this can be further uh, manipulated like this and uh, and this finally, result into this. So, what I mean to say here that this this although the equations here looks like a very uh, complicated one. But please then there is only algebraic manipulation is there one after another. I have given all the steps if you could not understand further you please put your question in the discussion forum. So, if I do the algebraic manipulation it will come to come like this. So, S S n equal to i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b y i j y i dot y dot j minus y i double dot S S a plus S S b plus y dot dot square by a b into square by a b s s a into s s b. This is the quantity this is a statistic which basically test the non negative non additivity that is the interaction interaction present or not that sense we will, we will use it. And this one follows chi square distribution with 1 degrees of freedom ok. So, s s n is computed it is non additivity. Now, what I, I, we have seen that this is what we have seen earlier in the derivation y i j y i dot this one. So, this now our hypothesis is this then s s error is s s residual minus s s n you know how to compute s s residual these are the things we have discussed earlier. So, once you know s s t a and b s s residual you will be getting from here. Now, S S n is all non additivity part the other part is computed the S S residual minus S S n will give you S S error. So, now this a, a will calculate you will calculate a statistics for f 0 which is S S n by its degrees of freedom by S S error by a degrees of freedom and then this quantity if greater than the threshold f value then we null hypothesis will be rejected then will be interaction will be present our anal hypothesis is no interaction ok. After that once you are satisfied with the with the um, test that no interaction is there or interaction is absent in that case what will happen that interaction part will go to the residual part and you will compute the row treatment column treatment using the traditional usual formulas total you compute and using another formulas and then residual or a b by subtraction and these are the degrees of freedom similarly calculate mean squares and and then compute the f and you see that whether row treatment effects are there column treatment effects are there or not. 
but please remember interaction effects you are not putting into the ANOVA because interaction effect will not be there and that is this will be this is basically only error is there. And the expected mean square the from theory that means if you say that expected value of MSA will be this, expected value of B will be this, expected value of residual will be this and it is expected that expected value of MSA and MSB will be more than expected value of MS residual. So, that means this added quantities this will be this and this, uh, this will be uh, your uh, will be significant more than the and then this added quantity this one and there will be significant effect. So, one example very quickly the two factors A with 3 levels and B with 5 levels. Suppose, effect the response Y we have not and not assumed any physical meaning to A, B and response just for the for the sake of making you understand the computation part we have chosen this example and the analyst has observed single response everywhere single response and the part on the value of each treatment combination the experimental data is given below. So, this is a case of single replicate. Now, what you require to do you first find out the interaction effect is there or not. Now, row total make column total make, make overall total and then when you you test the non negativity part using this you use this and use F 0 that value is basically 0 0.1667 that is the sum S S n S S n is this S S error is this one and you see that the F 0 value S S n by degree of freedom divided by S n error by degree of freedom. So, this value is basically and this value is point uh, this value this divided by this this value is point 0 0.07. So, point 0 0.07 it is insignificant value because if you compare this with the theoretical value like F 1 7 alpha equal to 0 0.05 it will be much more than 0 0.07. Similarly, if you comp compute the BJ effect this value F 0 is 1.07 it is much less than the theoretical one, but A effect is significant. So, because this 5.51 is more than F 2 7 0 0.05. So, A effect is significant interaction effect is not there and B effect is not significant. So, what we can conclude here? the factor A has significant effect on risk. Okay. So, why I read it? if you say that response is a risk response uh, okay. we are saying response is measures on it is a measure of risk on 10 point scale A and B we have not given any physical meaning, but response measure is a measure of risk on 10 point scale then A has no effect, A has significant effect on risk, factor B and interaction effect no significant effect on risk. Okay. So, this is wha uh, what is uh, that means factorial design with single replicates, we have used the materials of uh, from the book of um, Douglas Montgomery design analysis of experiments. Okay. So, I hope that you, you, you are in a position you are in a position to analyze uh, field factorial design with single replicates. Okay. Thank you very much.